So you know that you know that scene in It Part Two where that no. w- <laughs> I haven't seen It Part Two. Really? You said it was uh, on your recommendation. You said it was bad, so I didn't oh, watch it. Was it was bad. Okay, well, so in It, they all, like, after the first movie, or the first book, if you ever read it, the old kids beat this alien clown monster, and then they all leave and go their own separate ways and all leave that small town they live in, except one of them who stays in case it returns. And then when it returns, he calls them each individually and basically at like goes hey you guys gotta come back we gotta fight it again he's back again we gotta go fight him in this question you're getting the call and your response is like no i think it's fine i don't think we need to i think we should just let the next generation handle that i don't think we really need to fight him i think he was pleasant i think he was an addition to the town like you're doing one of those to him well the first thing i know i I think is a funny premise is the one guy who stays in the shitty hometown (laughs) and i think he's just using it as an excuse hey man why do you just work at the hardware store and smoke weed all the time someone's gotta protect (laughs) us from it <laughs> it looks like you just drink <laughs> you have a son do you hang out with your son i have no time for my son <laughs> or child support someone has to stand guard against it yeah the best way i can help my child is protecting him for when it comes and tries to take him mm-hmm. and they're like do you have you been have you been doing things to prepare for when he returns or no. like or like he uses it all the time as an excuse to like try to get his buddies to come drink with him oh it's back at the at the at the bar <laughs> you gotta come right now is this uh, sean you say this every single yeah. time it's not at the bar no no it's it's totally at the yeah, bar and he needs it needs the only way to beat him is to bring 50 single like 50 in singles <laughs> yeah when you say it is it a friend of your son's mom that you're trying to get with is that it maybe that's it <laughs> I'm not coming to the bar. Come on. <laughs> I, I think he could also use it for smaller stuff, like just getting out of conversation. Like he's on a phone call with someone and it's dragging on a little long. He's like, oh, no, it's here. I got to go fight him. Bye. I was going. The, my question was if is you're trying to get out of fighting. it. Yeah, you're trying to get out of fighting it by just giving excuses for why you can't. I wonder if you could convince people that you have your own monster and wherever you move to. <laughs> You know, oh, you have it. We have th- that. We have that. Yeah. <laughs> that lo- makes it look like this. Yeah. And, like, wh- and they're like, what is he? He's two clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? It, it's shape shifting. It's like, yeah, yeah. This one shape shifts into two of everything that yeah. it was. <laughs> it's twice as scary. Remember when it became a scary picture? Well, it's two. And they don't even go together. <laughs> so it just makes the wall look yeah. weird. Um, you don't want to go fight it again. I mean, I actually think you could make a genuine case. Oh, really? For that. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if eight kids or six kids beat it, you're like, all right, well, what does that translate to like two adults? Yeah. Well, you want all of us to come back, you bum? Like, I'm not going to take <laughs> off work to fight it to save a small town that I don't live in. You think you could just say you don't have the PTO? Like, do you think that would be enough? You're like, I actually don't have the PTO. You think that would... Yeah, you have to take actual vacation. Yeah. Because you're not going to... That's not... You can't explain that to your... I have to go fight a demon clown. No, no. You got to say you're going to the Why beaches. do you have to fight the demon clown? Because I fought it as a kid. It's... I don't know. <laughs> it's bonding for... I don't know exactly. Yeah, it's like, did... Do other people know about in the town? Like, yeah, he's terrorizing everyone. It's like the police. It's like, no, why, yeah, why no. do you call you and not the police? I don't know. He's lonely. He, yeah. He, he works at a library and this is... Pretty much the highlight of his I think life. the police don't answer his calls anymore because he always calls them and, you know, makes shit up for a tent. I, I, I think my friend is sick. Could all the kids see it? Yeah. Like every kid in the whole town can see it? Yeah. Also, one of them doesn't actually, this isn't spoilers, but one of them actually doesn't go to fight it, but he gets out of it by killing himself. So. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. That one of them just instead of going, hey, guys, I can't make it. He offs himself because he feels like he's so scared or because he's guilty scared again it's the thing that you be however whatever it can turn into you beat it as a kid yeah by just hitting it with your kids yeah strength. and the chances that he'll get to like if you moved all the way to connecticut the chances that he'll go to connecticut for that pretty low he doesn't he doesn't know the internet he doesn't know how to get across state lines he's not coming for you plus it just scares you well it eats children in that small town but they looked up the history of this they knew he just ate children in that small town i'm not trying to be a bad guy but i'm like i don't think that's even if you were looking at how to save the most amount of human life you wouldn't start at it you know it's kind of like people who build built their houses back after katrina like in mm-hmm. the same spots it's yeah like, why are you guys still there's a killer cl- move and they're like no it's a part of our heritage it's you want to stay here yeah yeah my grandpa's firstborn was eaten by a killer <laughs> clown and my 
brother was eaten by and now my <laughs> god damn it my son's gonna, gonna be eaten by a killer it's just a rite of passage what if you kept just being like no i'm really scared of airplane rides <laughs> i can't i can't go fight the killer clown because the airplane ride would be too scared like you sure it's not it no nope i have a i'm totally fine with um shape-shifting demon clowns it's I just don't like after 9-11, just airplanes have been a lot for me. How does that work? What if your fear is 9-11? <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> just keeps playing that one song on the right. Uh, no, wake have me up. you forgotten? I was going to do how Wake Me Up. felt that day with your homeland under... Fr- that, the guy who wrote that song is It. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think South Park actually did a whole thing about that guy. Yeah, I don't know how he deals with abstract fears of things. You know, if I, I, I get kind of intimidated by reading. So for me, the book It was It. <laughs> Yeah, like, for instance, I don't know how he gets, like, really... Oh, no, actually, that's true of you. I was going to go with, I don't know how they get, like... I don't know how he gets, like, really closeted gay or men or women. Just becomes, like, a sexy person and tries to seduce them. Yeah, he, like, Epstein's them. (laughs) (laughs) But then the problem is, the moment they come out, they have to see us to switch genders, because now they're, you know, once they've become... I don't think that's what being gay is. When once you come out as gay, you're like, no, I, can't. I touched a woman. Oh, now I'm now that bothers me. Oh yeah, I thought if you were homophobic and you came out, you're now. I don't think you retroactively go back in time and you're like, oh. oh. <laughs>